The print, 27th of January 2023, Belt and Road Initiative has adverse effects on partner nations. The Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, of China has a lot of detrimental effects on the nations that it partners with. According to a South-South Research Initiative, SSRI, paper, the data was analyzed using Zambia, Pakistan, Laos, Angola, and Sri Lanka data. Some BRI projects were launched too soon without enough consideration for their long-term advantages. The support of governments and programs is usually overly dependent on the initiatives. Additionally, several countries agree with this yet are cautious about making independent contributions. They believe that China ought to foot the majority of the bill. According to SSRI, China has concentrated chiefly on communicating with governmental institutions without sufficiently considering the concerns of businesses, civil society organizations, and locals. China's interactions with Zambia, Pakistan, Angola, Laos, and Sri Lanka were the best examples of this problem. The Belt and Road Initiative BRI, which China began in 2013, is examined in the report along with each nation's economic, social, and political changes. The Zambian government has not developed plans to take advantage of Chinese investments. On the other hand, Zambia chooses to ignore how Chinese investors are wrecking its industrial sector. Parallel to this, Pakistan's concerns have come true, with many unable to support themselves and compete with the massive Chinese fishing vessels that are stealing the livelihoods of the people who live in the Indian Ocean. Therefore, it is evident that Pakistan's social upheaval and economic instability are both results of China's BRI project, according to SSRI. Due to its debt to Laos, China can utilize its influence to affect the country's policymaking. Due to the absence of legislative changes to establish a functioning real estate market, Angola's reluctance to provide finance prevented the country from investing in real estate. The government actions in these five nations have heightened the resentment of the populace, which will not reap the rewards of Chinese investments. According to SSRI, Sri Lanka is giving up some degree of control over administering these infrastructures due to the BRI initiatives. The BRI projects in Sri Lanka exhibit corruption and a lack of openness. Additionally, there are some environmental effects. There are worries about Sri Lanka's mounting debt burden and loss of sovereignty because a sizable amount of BRI investment comes from Chinese governmental corporations. According to a recent article in the Singapore Post, the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, push in 2023 will allow China to deepen its diplomatic and economic connections with 140 partner countries to increase its soft power. Like in 2022, China wants to boost the transport capacity of the railways in 2023 as well. However, nationalization can always end at trap diplomacy.